Hopefully, we're back. Sorry about that. There's something about Thursday nights and something about playing lawn mowing sim that my internet connection doesn't like for some reason because it was last Thursday when I had a bad connection somebody somewhere is running something down the street aren't they and zapping all the uh, all the bandwidth <laughs> so sorry about that thanks for joining back again uh, Mr Waters back hello Cadman's back Stacy's back Anne's in hi Anne how are you Peanuts back again. Thanks for coming back in. I'm going to have to avoid uh, collectible resting against the sea, so is there? Right, I'll have a look in a sec. I'm going to have to avoid streaming on a Thursday. Seems to be my uh, problem time. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it, to be honest. Uh, being, I've been having lots of trouble with it. Because I work at home as well. And um, I'm on a lot of meetings. And uh, it's just regularly dropping me out of meetings as well. So I need to uh, speak quite sternly to BT, I think. And uh, find out what's going on there. Try and sneak through here. I bet I can't actually. No, I'm not going to try it. His tail's in the way. I'm good, thanks, Anne. Good to see you. Yeah, do you know, I've been with BT for a while and uh, it's kind of been okay, but just this last few months good news is the contract is up in August so I have a bit of bargaining power there hey Rathcaster how are you I think I just saw you before uh, the connection went down as well so welcome Oh, you right so it looks like BT's uh, trouble then if yours goes off as well stays I was with Plusnet as I tell you the worst one ever Plusnet they're really BT aren't they but they were terrible absolutely terrible the worst one ever I'm going to do as much as I can here before I'll go and look for that collectible and then move on to the next section. 38% so it's not going badly. Right. So what I'll do is I'll just jump off. So you said, do you see any of this slide? Um, I'm going back now to have a look. Collectible resting against the, oh, a seesaw, against the seesaw. Uh, the seesaw's there, look. Oh, there it is. Thank you for that. I got a trophy for that. We're going to make a fortune with this place, the trophy I just got. I'm assuming that's a DLC trophy. It's nice when trophies work, isn't it? Um, oh, you've got, you've got Sky and hardly any issues. Do you know what? I, I was with Sky for a while. I might, um, I might give him a try. Again. Thing is, I got Sky TV. I don't like having all my uh, eggs in one basket, you know. That's the only problem. Right, let's go to this section down here. Let's 
Stacy lives in a field. <laughs> yeah, I, I must I must admit, right, BT have been they, they have been pretty good. I've been with them a number of years and until just recently I've not had any sort of cause for complaint. Um, but yeah, just recently it's gone downhill, as it were. Um, Lee says, have I got sky glass? No, I didn't fancy that either. I've seen it in action, but um, no, I haven't got that. Engaged. I actually lifted it at the wrong time. Yeah, if you haven't got this game, give it a try. You'll probably be a lot better at it than I am. Because uh, that's that's not difficult. Yeah, Sky Up do do uh, routes in Transing World. They did uh, they did Cane Creek and they did Horseshoe Curve. They also did they also did the uh, the German local, the one eight seven which isn't one of the better ones right now. It will be when they fix it. But it isn't right now. It's very booked. Yeah, this is a bit different, isn't it, to the other stuff they've done? I think they did some work on... Um, I think they did some work on the Class 313 as well, in Trades in Worlds, which is quite a nice local. That's a dovetail one, but they did something on it. I can't remember what, but they definitely assisted. Because it shows it on their, on their website. These are a definite step up in challenge from uh, the original ones. Like I said last week, I probably should do a few more of the, uh, the standard contracts first before moving on to these, but now that they're showing up in the list, I may as well do them. Uh, by the way, as well, talking about DLCs uh, and that kind of thing, um, I can't remember how many of you are playing the uh, the PC building simulator, but if you are playing it and you're on console, the um, the IT expansion came out for free this week, 
and uh, I just hopped into it last night actually just to have a look. It's a completely different story mode, an additional additional 20 hours of gameplay and I just played the first couple of jobs and uh, it's pretty good to be honest so if you have got that and you've not played it for a while go and, go and check it out it's actually the, 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 there's two different stories now the original story where you're working in a a repair shop for your, I think it's for your uncle you're basically working for him but now in the new story you're kind of working for an IT company and you receive jobs by your tickets in the system and it's a bit more as you would expect if you were fixing PCs in real life but it, it's really good and the other thing is is that they brought it up to the same sort of spec as the, the PC version so all the latest graphic cards are in the the, uh, the 3 series 3000 series um, RTX's are in there etc etc and it, it looks a lot better as well. Wow, I got stuck on something there. Um, yeah, so go and check that out. I might make a video on that as well. I kind of do a tour of it because I went into it just last night. I was telling Farah I went into it just for just for half an hour, and uh, it was getting late. I wanted to carry on, but I'm going to spend some time this weekend doing that. I think. Right, what are we on? 47%, nearly 48%. Yeah, the emails. Uh, the other good thing is, though, as well, is that um, if you have played it, rather than having to go back to your PC all, all the time to check what jobs you've got, you've got a tablet that you carry around with you. So you can quickly check what's going on and what parts you need so anyway just have a look at it if you've got it just have a look because um, it's pretty good yeah it's a separate it's a separate save file uh, Barrett. so you can play both at the same time you just got to keep switching between the two so you don't lose your original uh, progress you can flip back to that if you want but I think it'll seem a, it'll seem a bit out of date. I think compared to uh, the new IT expansion. Yeah, nice, rough cast here. You'll enjoy it. gearing themselves up aren't they for uh, PC building sim 2 and I know on console uh, it's been a bit of a gripe for a while that PC were getting all the updates and console didn't get it so it's nice they've, uh, they've updated it now hopefully when number 2 comes out everybody gets the updates at the same time going forward Fuel tanks getting low. going to get a penalty for that fuel tank anyway. I've already had several collisions so it's not like we're going to get a perfect run on this one. I think it'd take a lot of practice to do that without penalty.
fairly get some speed up down these hills as well. Runs away a lot, and that's me. And that's me taking my finger off the throttle as well. I think this is the. I, I played the other one of the other safari ones last week when we were streaming it. This is only the second one that I've actually done in that DLC. And um, so far both of them are quite hilly. So I don't know if there are any flat areas in these DLC packs. You see this one here, because we're on we're kind of at an angle. It's kind of wiggling the mower around as if it's getting stuck. leg. Some of these dinosaurs as well have moving tails, which is a problem we had last week. I'm trying to get around the dinosaur with the strimmer and the, the tail was moving and you had to keep dipping in in between the swish of the tail, which is another uh, added challenge to this one. Hey Black Arrow, how are you? to see it. Nice looking dinosaur grounds and very challenging. Yeah it is, it is challenging. Yeah, no doubt about it. See, you're going along and you see the little little branch there. It's difficult to see it, but that will we will catch that if we if we try and go past it. There's all those little little obstacles like that there. Not hidden, but a bit sneaky. So if you are going for a perfect run, you need to check every tree. just about hanging in there but it won't be long remember the first time I ran out of fuel I thought oh that's going to be the end of the contract and then I realised it, it does actually let you uh, fill it up again obviously with the penalty but at least you can then complete the contract which was good That's a good point actually Black Arrow, yeah, that I've not really thought about the graphics and the way the light uh, and shadows are hitting the grass. Quite right. They've done well with it, haven't they? There's still some, there's still some popping in of the scenery that you can see, as there, there is with the original uh, maps, but it's not that noticeable, is it? You know, I can live with that. Some some can't, but it's not a high-speed driving game where things popping in are going to distract you. It's very relaxed, so... Sixty-two percent done. So we're getting through. Stegosaurus there. I'm assuming it's a Stegosaurus, it looks like one. I 
What's that one? Parasophil office, I think. The dino egg, yeah, it's a, it's a, um, it's a rubbish bin, I think, a litter bin. be that um, there's so much coverage with the mower that we don't actually need to do much trimming by the time we get to the end let's see Obviously, like we said at the beginning, the 38 minutes that it recommended to get this one done, we've probably gone way past that across the across the two streams that we've done. Um, I bet we've been an hour on this one already, yeah, but it's fine. There's no point rushing. Right, that's the fuel gone. So, if I jump off, I can just fill the fuel with square £6.82. And I should be able to get underway again. There we go. A full tank again. So yeah, it's good that it lets you do that. Because it would be a shame to get this far through the contract and then not be able to finish it. Uh, these, these hills really do throw you off once it starts getting away with itself. It's difficult to control it. Three and a half litres for that price, yeah, you're right. I think that's been generous as well. Yeah, Black Arrow, I bet you, I bet you had to uh, keep them constantly maintained, didn't you, as well? Or have a company that did it for you. Seventy per cent. Still got quite a big area to do just in this section.
Yeah, I think this one, this is the most difficult one that I've done yet. Out of all of them. Like I said, I've still got a lot of the, the standard jobs from the original game still to complete, but yeah, this is definitely the, uh, the most difficult. I mean, look, I mean, they've got these trees here right next to the edge. Strategically placed, just to make it even more awkward. But, if you, you know, if you take your time, um, it's actually quite good. It's a quite a nice challenge. So the DLCs are, are a test. From what I can see, there are no easy ones across the two DLCs. So, if you have got to the end of the uh, original game, I imagine that these will be uh, quite welcome, these ones. Oh, has it got right? So it's got a multiplayer I can buy, which then means I'll be able to use it. I would have been able to use it on this one, and I expect. Right. So I think uh, once we get a payout from these jobs that are on right now, I think that's something I'll have a look at. It's a good point because I've not looked at any upgrades yet. I think the trophy requirements have kind of been steering me towards getting as many mowers as I can uh, rather than upgrading. So yeah, you're right. I'll take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah, this one is quite narrow. too badly though, we're at nearly 76% so we're well on the way to finishing it that's the other thing isn't it, because you can come back and do this again um, later on in the career with uh, a bigger mower and just keep beating your uh, beat your score beat your time as well because I'm sure that 38 minutes that it recommends is probably based on well, it's not based on this mower, is it? It's probably based on one of the larger mowers. So it must be doable in 38 minutes. Hey I'm on, how are you? Nice to see you. Whoa, see that see that it went away from me there again down the hill. I think we'll just clear up this patch now before we move down there.
Right, let's carry on down here. Just, there's a little bit there we'll pick up. Twenty percent to go. It is a big job this one. I thought that when it first kind of did the uh, the flyby at the beginning. I think this is I think this is the first time I've actually seen this area because I've purposely not looked at any of the YouTube of these so I can experience them for the first time once we go in. Um, but yeah, it's it's hilly. The areas are spread out, there's lots of obstacles. It's a good one. Don't forget you guys as well, give me a thumbs up. Uh, we got, uh, well we did have, I don't know if it's moved, we have uh, 10 subscribers to go, that's all, to the Magic 1K. And then we step it up a bit, I have got, I've got a few plans um, up my sleeve. It won't be changing too much, so don't worry, but uh, a couple of things I've got under my hat as it were so we're not that far off at all really so thanks for your continued support as always you know I appreciate it I think, you know what Black Arrow, I think you could be right, because um, when I, I was, was it, it was actually it was just before the uh, the first lockdown, I was down in one of our company offices down in London and um, it was quite early in the morning, there wasn't anybody in. Next minute, at the corner of my eye I saw something moving and it was a blooming it was a robot Hoover, and it was like—I don't know if you guys have seen them. It was—it was like a—it was cylindrical, and it was going up and down. And I watched it for a while. It was quite intelligent. It was—it was going around. It obviously had sensors, and every time it went up to the up to um, you know the side of a table, uh, it would change direction, go off the other way. It was quite clever. I was fascinated, actually. It's the first time I'd seen that. So, you know, you don't even get cleaners in the office anymore. So, lawnmowers, uh, I think, are... Uh, robot lawnmowers, I think, are... Uh, a natural extension of that. So, you're quite right. There will come a time, won't there, where anything will be automated. Anything and everything that can be automated will be. Right, let's have a look, uh, let's lift the blades. I think that's about as good with the mower we can do of that section. So we've got this big section over this side, so I'll just travel down to the back here. And 
we'll have a look where we need to start. Still quite a big section here to use the mower on. So that might get us a good way towards the, uh, the target there. Let's just turn it around. Thought you, I upgraded on my mowers. No, I didn't. I bought a new mower, um, but then I couldn't use it. I couldn't use it on this particular contract. Uh, but Farrow was saying that um, for this contract, I could have added. I could have added an upgrade to it, which would have allowed me to uh, to use it on here. But I didn't realise. So I'm going to look at that after this. just this bit to go here and then we'll see how much we need to do with the strimmer then. Uh, the strimmer I've got is a new one. I haven't used that yet. Um, and that gives us a wider sort of range when we're strimming as well. So that's good. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do a second one, Black Arrow. Possible, isn't it? It'd have to be something. It'd have to be something substantially different, wouldn't it? Or people would say, "Well, why didn't you just, why didn't you just keep bringing out DLCs for the original one?" So it'd have to be. It'd have to be a different type of gla gameplay, wouldn't it? As you said, some different types of vehicles, perhaps. Planting and weeding, yeah, never, I never thought about that. They could, they could almost, they could almost um, change the theme from just being lawn mowing to sort of general garden maintenance, couldn't they? So yeah, rather than just mowing and strimming, they could add replanting and all sorts of different tasks. Uh, as you know, you know I go around and I hit the flower beds quite a lot. You know they could add replanted the flowers or anything like that. Yeah, copyright that idea right away, Ant Man. Right, ninety percent. Now you see, it told me my uh, blades were damaged, and I can see as I've gone over. I can see 
the green there's still patches of green where I've actually been over it so again the trimmer is going to come in handy down in this section Wasp nest removal simulator. <laughs> Pest control simulator, yeah. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? You, you could add, uh, it's only got two elements to it, this. You could, you could add so much to it. Just have a general gardening or garden maintenance simulator quite easily. Honestly though, these, these bigger contracts, once you get to the end, it's, it does actually feel like you, you've done a long job. It's a lot of work to get these, you know, cut down to what they should be. You start off and you think, oh, I'm making really good progress here with the mower. The percentage is like shooting up, but then, you know, Especially these kind of contracts, the, some of the some of the shapes are so awkward that it starts to slow down a little bit. Uh, but it does; it feels good at the end, though. It feels like an accomplishment at the end. Housekeeper simulator. The list is endless, isn't it? Really. Right, so, I think that is all the big sort of greenery done that we can do. We're on 95%. 66 minutes it's taken us. So we'll put this back on the uh, van or truck. We'll get the streamer out and we'll see if we can get this uh, last few percent. slow this mower isn't it which normally when you're mowing the grass wouldn't wouldn't really matter it's just for these these sections all right let's get him back on here I still think that's pretty neat where he looks behind him when he's reversing right stop the engine get him jumped off there um, right so let's make a start this one could take a little bit of time because there's so many areas now we've got to go back to 
So I'll do the obvious bits first. Which is really all around the trees. Now I would be recommending to the boss of this park not to let the grass grow this long next time and have it done a bit more regular than this. Because it was quite long. So it's a good job we've got a bigger streamer. It's not the biggest one. This one's the third one in that list that it gives you. So it's it's the biggest stream I own out of the three that I've got currently. So we'll see how we get on with this. It seems to get through it better than the others. 